In the dead of winter, the darkness offers little hope. The first whisper from the north wind on a hallowed eve, reminding our bones that the season for aching is upon us again, leaving little for the ill-prepared and even less for the faint of heart. The winter with its casualties eventually melts in the sun, giving way to the emerging season, bursting with zest and zeal to reclaim the land, spawn new life, and restore the hope that was lost in the dead of winter. But this isn't a story about the seasons, nor is it a story about change or transformation. It's not even about a tilted earth with its seasons in a constant battle to claim territory, nor is it a story about all the reasons why all of these things persist. The spinning earth that governs the darkness in the places we dwell, or even the pull of the moon that prevents the sea from rest. This story is a story about hope, and hope lost, and hope restored when it seemed all hope was lost, but turned out to only be misplaced for a season. This story could begin wherever I choose. I could begin this story when hope was all I had, or when it seemed I had no hope at all. I could cloud the water and confuse hope with desire. Although often synonymous, I assure you they're not the same. This story could begin anywhere, but for today, let's begin the story just a little upstream. Sid Studio, dead of winter when I was 15. The passing of the millennium at the end of the year 2K. Those were my high school days. It was a time when I left hoping to others while I fed my desire and hopeless plight. Mom had received a reward in her long-standing legal battle five years prior and seldom spent significant time at home. That's not to say that she was never there. We often had a crowded house in the studio where we lived and I first found reason for hope until all hope was lost. And in the spring of 2001, we buried Aunt Lil. A year later, I left Sid's studio and all hope behind, pursuing whatever my heart desired, until I found reason to hope again. And it was when that hope turned to despair that I realized all hope was never lost, and you never know where you might find hope again.